Hi, it's Jesse Zeman, Executive Director for the BC Wildlife Federation. Just wanted to provide a quick update before everyone heads off for holidays. Uh, first of all, I want to recognize all of the exceptionally uh, good work that our wetlands workforce teams have done all over the province. Uh, the BC Wildlife Federation uh, is delivering over 70 wetlands projects right now. I recognize a number of those are wrapping up and we will continue to pursue funding opportunities into the future so that the BC Wildlife Federation and all the people that are so committed to wetlands can continue to do this great work. Uh, on the Southern Interior Mule Deer Front, our science team had a goal to capture and collar 40 fawns this uh, fall and they've already completed that goal, so great job team. The information from those fawns will help inform wildlife management decisions in the future. On the Mule Deer Project, Chloe Wright is beginning to, or has begun to analyze the data related to the project. We will have a number of webinars with regards to the Scientier Mule Deer Project this spring, giving you an update, and we are starting to shift gears and think about how we can take what we've learned and then put it on the ground to create more mule deer. We will be working with the province and stakeholders, and especially our First Nations partners, to start doing a better job at taking care of mule deer and the landscape and restoring wildlife populations. On that note, uh, it was announced this month that our documentary called Community for the Wild, which was conducted by Chris Spencer at UBC, um, TELUS paid for that and they have begun advertising our documentary, which was really unexpected, but is also extremely exciting. So if you have TELUS Optique, you can view it right now. Otherwise, it will be available to the public in the new year and we will be sure to share a link and uh, let you know when the film's out so that you can view it. This year has been a tough one for everyone. Fish, wildlife, habitat, and people between COVID, heat dome, wildfire, and floods in the lower mainland, uh, this has probably been the toughest year uh, in BC's recent history. So over the holidays, I'd really encourage everyone to take some time, get out in nature, go for a walk, go hiking, go fishing, go hunting, and take the opportunity to clear your head and think about what you wanna do in 2022 and how we can all make things better for fish, wildlife, and habitat. On behalf of the BC Wildlife Federation Board of Directors, committee chairs, committees, clubs, and members, and all of our staff, I'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thanks.